1985, the name Eliminator made its debut. Kawasaki has offered it in a number of configurations throughout the past 38 years, ranging from the powerful 1000cc to the underpowered 125cc, but none of them have had a significant effect on the global market. This led to the company's 2007 production stoppage. The Kawasaki Eliminator makes a comeback in 2023, 16 years later, hoping to capitalize on the growing 400-500cc cruiser market. However, in order to do that, it must defeat the Honda Rebel 500, which leads the class and commands strong sales across the board. Despite having a smaller parallel twin engines than the Rebel, the Kawasaki Eliminator generates 1.4 more horsepower. When you factor in its weight advantage of 14 kilograms, 30 pounds, the Kawasaki ought to be the quickest in this situation. However, it is only part of the story. We say this because the Honda Rebel outperforms its new competition by 6 newton meters, 4 pound feet, and has a more controllable RPM range for both horsepower and torque delivery. This will increase its punch and improve its overtaking ability, two crucial features for cruiser aficionados. In order to identify the winner, we will require these two cruisers, a timer, and an empty section of asphalt. This is when Eliminator's Rebel influence really shows through. The steel tube chassis of both motorbikes is the same, and they both have dual shocks and a 41mm telescopic fork as well as section 130-150 tires. With bigger front discs, 18-inch front wheels, and increased ground clearance for improved cruiser-like riding qualities, the new Kawasaki, however, has the advantage. Conversely, the Rebel is better suited for shorter cyclists because to its lower seat height of 45 mm, 2 inches. Theoretically, a shorter wheelbase also allows for faster direction changes. Here, the two motorcycles stack snugly together like foundations. Regarding the fundamentals, LED lights, ABS, hazard switches, and LCD instruments, both receive full scores, but the rookie has the advantage when it comes to smartphone connectivity. This is standard equipment that lets you get mobile notifications on the LCD and view information about the motorcycle on your phone. The Eliminator SE model also unlocks a camera on both ends along with a USB Type-C charger the latter of which is unique for an entry-level Japanese cruisers in this market. A Rebel SE version is also available, albeit it lacks some of the features. In terms of design, we will award this one to the Rebel 500. But the Eliminator appears to be a slightly modified version of the Honda. Additionally, the Rebel outperforms the Kawasaki thanks to its quad LED headlamps and wide range of color options. But design is personal, so share your preferences with us.